new post from Unusual Wales. This is interesting. It says JP Morgan's former precious metals desk. Head and his top gold trader are asking to be spared from prison sentences for spoofing the market. So this is something right in our wheelhouse, apes. This is something that we talked about for a while now. The type of punishments that a lot of the white collar criminals get seems to be less than what's deserved. So now JP Morgan has some former precious metals traders or head of desks, and they're asking to be spared from prison sentences for getting caught for spoofing in the market. Comment down below what you think they should get for this crime. This ape says, just to be very clear, the AMZ share price being $4 has nothing to do with fundamentals and debt. Profitability, reverse, no reverse, no diluting in the past. It has everything to do with predatory shorting and all the buying pressure being robbed from being sent from the lit exchange to off exchange dark pools. And this is out of Gary Gensler's mouth himself when he said that 95% of retail orders don't go through the lit exchange. And Gary Gensler announced this a long time ago on Bloomberg. And yet every single day, look for yourself. Look at the off exchange trading for AMC versus the on exchange. The numbers are staggering. Why is naked short selling ethically wrong? This is something important for apes to understand as individuals. In my opinion, it is wrong because it is undefined, unacknowledged risk in the market. All presumptions based on seemingly honest chart and reporting data of scarcity or supply need to be disclosed. To esoterically and secretly increase supply is to distort reality. Distorting reality hurts people. It hurts them financially, psychologically. Hurting individuals is wrong because every human being contains the divine within them. Very well said. In two years, apes have uncovered more corruption than any group of investors before. And that's what scares the Wall Street. That they also want everyone stuck at home buying stuff online and looking at ads online all day and night. You can't do that when you're in a movie theater. Oh, AMC. Only AMC and their advertisers make money. The smart companies are partnering with us. Instead of trying to fight against us like Netflix, Uber, and Zoom. Disney, of course, also. It's been crazy over the past years how this has all unfolded. And what's even crazier is that a lot of our predictions are coming to light. The apes were right all along.